What's up, guys? It's Seth from Schmick Squadron again. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, one and all, to another video. And this time we're playing some Hearthstone. So, I'm definitely playing different game, like a lot of different games here. And, like, I have a lot of games, like, to play on this channel. Uh, it's just, like, what... I don't really know what you all would want to watch. Uh, but... I'll just be throwing out game like different games and stuff like that. Probably like put up two videos a day of like one game and then a different game and so on and so forth. Uh, but this time we playing a little bit of that. Jesus Christ, really? Playing a little bit of that Hearthstone. Um, I don't know if this guy down. I'm just gonna do that. Oh wait, the toxin does not kill our dude. Uh, I also figured this would probably be pretty good because Hearthstone's just another card game that you guys can watch and I'm sure that will be fine. I'm sure at least some of you are uh, well aware of Hearthstone. If not, uh, this is Blizzard's card game. And... It's not like, there's no like physical copies of any of the cards either. You have been. What? What? Okay. Uh, I'm starting on the very bottom, by the way, of the ranks. Uh, I am playing, I'm pretty sure I'm playing ranked, right? No, I'm not. Okay, now I am. Uh, I have not played this game in forever, and I'm playing wild to boot. Uh... We're gonna fight a second game because that game was so. It was like insanely fast. I just put down like three cards. He already gave up in the world. Um, but yeah, I haven't played this game in a while. And like this what used to be my best deck was like the Murloc and when like you had like the Inspire cards and all that stuff. Uh, but I don't really play this game too often. If often at all it's honestly probably been like a good at least half a year since i've even touched this game so i will fight with honor i don't want him this is fine if i can get okay sweet i was gonna say if i can get another murloc that's good um and it just so happened i got one so very nice I can kind of play it on curve too, because I can drop this, drop this, and then I can drop this, and this guy will have like plus three. He'll be at like three two, and he'll be at two two. Um, consecrate, yeah, whatever. Except we're playing against Mage, and Mage is like so good against this deck, so I doubt I stand a very good chance of playing or uh, winning this game. I'm gonna cast a spell. Game equal to it. Okay. Uh, don't mind if I just go ahead and trade that. Now, now this turn she can e she can either just fire blast it or you know whatever have you, which she probably will. If she doesn't, I'm just gonna drop this and give him like plus three health, and that'll just be bad overall bad for her because then this would be a three three, and this would be a three four. Okay, she's gonna mana crystal. Uh, I don't really know what she's mana crystalling for then. Just draw two, all right. I don't really know what you're digging for. I don't really need these two consecrations either. Uh, but yeah, we're just gonna drop this. And now that just became a three, three, and this became a two, four. And she's taking damage to the face. She's I don't really think coining into Arcane was maybe the best idea. I mean, sh she could have like a bunch of AOE spells that can clear these off really nicely. So maybe. And a random mage spell. Um. Maybe she's expecting me to hit into it. I don't really need to though. And I don't really need to give her like anything either. So. Maybe I just go this, this, 
and I just hit her face. Yeah. I think that was the correct play. Because now these guys are pretty strong. Um, and I'll have Consecrate for next turn. If she can't clear any of this stuff off, that's 7, 10, 12... 14. That's only 14. Uh, it doesn't... Hmm. She might trade this into something, and then Fire Blast this. That's what I would probably do, because you, you, she's probably wanting to fetch for a spell, but if she does this, then she won't be able to spell anything. Okay, so that was a good call, actually, by her. It kind of sucks because that drops all my lethal damage too. Let's spread. Seven now. Crossbow. That's pretty good, actually. As well. Um. We definitely kill this. Consecrate? Maybe? Uh, but I kind of want Oracle. Hmm. I think I trade that. Yep, draw a card. That's actually kind of nice. Drop Oracle. And then. Thank you. Yeah, dang. Um. And then maybe this. With this. Quickly. Yeah. Uh, all my mom, all all these guys are pretty small now, which kind of sucks. So her like, whatever like her AOE will be will be stronger. She can't flame strike me yet. That's seven. But if she's gonna use, if she's gonna use like frostbolt and stuff to deal with that kind of stuff, it's better for me, in general. Um, secret, huh? Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna drop that. And we're gonna drop this one. And then we're gonna like we're gonna we're gonna see what the secret is. The minion attacks. Okay, yeah, so we still won, I think. No, we didn't. It dropped our lethal damage, which sucks. Draw a card. Uh and then next turn, if she cannot give herself health, we consecrate for win! I was actually really easy. She uh didn't really have like a lot of spells to like just like mass deal with damage in general, which is nice. Two secrets. So we a hundred percent bait out all the secrets. Like we keep what we have on board to bait out the secrets. Oh. Okay. I'm just gonna it might be cocky, but Oh, okay. Yeah. So you just put him back down as bluffs. I'm actually surprised that went so well. Uh, mainly because, like, Mage is really good against all the Murloc stuff when you have the right spells that you need. Like, sometimes you don't even need the right spells, but it's just like... They have spells to deal with your guys, and your guys are really small, so Fire Blast is also very effective in trading. Um... Which means I have to pour more resources out to deal with any of her stuff, but she was, like, throwing out stuff, and I was just getting rid of it, and yeah. Uh, we'll play one more game. We'll get we'll get another game in here. Those two were relatively short, I would say. Stop. We'll get another game in here. Um, I don't know her hand or anything, so I can't say if she could have played it better, but I feel like she could have played it better. I will fight. Um, okay, that's a good card to start with. Um, this is kind of all good. I won't have a one drop. I won't have a one drop, but I guess that's not really important right now. Like being able to drop this and then dropping this right after is kind of nice because this become like it's a two one that drops a one one for two, but then you drop this and it becomes a two three that dropped a one three. So. Uh, yeah, this hint's fine.
Plus, you want to see this. You want to see Murloc Knight, like, every time. Because every time we're using that Inspire, it's just, oh, we have coin. Nice. Uh, just want to discover, or discover a spell. All right. Um, this is nice against druids as well. This card's nice against druids. Um, I'm considering just turn one dropping this. But I kind of want to wait till turn five where I can drop this coin and then be able to drop this and then inspire alongside of it. That seems really good. Okay, so she... Just ramping right now, which is pretty typical so swipe is very good against this deck as well which sucks that's interesting six armor moonfire not bad actually that's actually a really good play on this part or maybe I coin now, drop this, and then next turn I can inspire? Hmm. No, because you definitely want to do it. You definitely want to do it at once. You want to do it all at once. But I'd have a lot of board pressure, I feel like, if I did that. So, and then next turn, I could drop this. We're just going to do this. Reporting for duty. There we go. We're just going to do that. That seems fine. We'll wait for the turn five. And then, uh, Druid also has very, very nice... Ooh, jade. Okay. Uh, Druid also has very nice trading against this deck, so... Oh, that's really nice, actually, to see. Hmm. Maybe I drop this, then drop Cold Light soon? Uh, it's a tough choice. That's a really good card that I drew, but I kind of want it to... I kind of want to drop it so I can have it with the Murloc Knight, but at the same time... Um... Yeah, we're just gonna drop the wall here. Kill that. Hit that. And leave it at that. He can, like, swipe this. Hit that. And so he's going with Jade Blossom. He's getting another Jade Idol. So he's gonna have a lot of... I do mind if you roll need, actually. For your info. Um... Okay, so maybe Cold Light Seer is better here just in this instance right now. And then I just drop like a reinforce because then I can like properly trade. Um, I don't really want him drawing a card. Uh, but giving these guys some health right now would be pretty good. I can effectively trade, maybe like force him into using Swipe. And then I can drop down Murloc Knight? Yeah, that sounds actually kind of good. Reporting for duty. So... Either way, he can swipe for free, huh? So either way, he kind of gets like a free swipe where he can like target that, slash, like it'll slash, it'll kill this and this, and then... Hit this. He's already at nine mana, so it's like. Who knows what secrets will uncover? Oh. Oh. Dirty boy. Um, let's go with. Man, I keep putting off dropping this, but there's like these kind of like circumstances are leaving me where I definitely we definitely consecrate. We definitely consecrate. Hundred percent consecrate. 
And then we swing into that. This swings into this. This swings into that. Swing. Do that. And then we drop the shadow. Oh, nice. Alright, then we end. So we still got our board presence. He's only got two cards in hand. But he's got nine mana. So, like, he's ahead in curve, but this deck doesn't exactly require to curve. Because it plays well into curve anyways. All your guys are really small. As long as you play it correctly. As long as we, like, play it decently. And I think we've been playing it good. Like, I think trading everything and just getting rid of his board right there was the right call. So... definitely think that was the smarter choice there for sure now how about he only got two cards dude <laughs> he's only got two cards he doesn't really have does he like not have anything or does he think it's not his turn or did he just afk me Thinking emoji. Uh, well, right then. Okay. Mm. Sucks that he's not here. Uh, I'd rather the game be played out, but by all means. <laughs> what the hell is that? Whenever another friendly murloc dies. Holy! That's insane! And then we kind of like force him to like attack this maybe? Well, it's not like a force, but I'll keep drawing cards. Okay, that's fine. The battle. Time goes short. All right, he's, he's definitely AFK at this point. Which, oh, okay, no, no, he's, okay. Okay, see, I feel like he definitely would have dropped that last turn. So yeah, he was definitely AFK. Um, do I, do we, okay, let's trade these in, uh, cause we don't need them anymore. Uh, then we, I kind of wish, I'll drop this, then we drop the Merc. Yeah, definitely. Do that. Turn to that. Um, big swing. Another big swing. And a big swing. And... Oh my. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, friend. <laughs> That top deck draw was insane. Season chest. Win three more games to earn your season chest. I don't know what the season chest games. But hey, we got gold. Uh, yeah, I think I can end it right there. Three games. I mean, the first two were short. I don't know. None of them were really good, though. I'll play a fourth one. Fuck it. This can be a long episode. It's just like, that guy just went, like, randomly AFK, and it's not like I really think that, like, it would have really changed anything. Like, all he would have done is drop that elephant, and then, like, he gets a jade, and I just would have killed his board in general. But maybe it would have put my, like, damage behind it a little bit, but at the end of the day, like, whatever. This guy is a gold shami. This is possibly gonna suck. Alright, get rid of that. I don't really need blessing, but okay. But we got to turn one drop. We got the raider. What do we, we draw? Have turned our curse oh our Jesus! Strength. Oh dang, that only makes it a one. Dang, that's wild. All right. If you like totems, he gets like the fire one. I'd be like impressed slightly. 
because I would be very, very lucky. <laughs> Never say it! Never say what you're thinking out loud. Don't do it because then it happens. Then it happens. Frig. Alright, well, whatever. Just make them hit into my thing. Unreal. <laughs> do one damage to an enemy. Oh my. That's pretty good. All right, well, let's do this. Let's just trade that out, I guess. This is, this is gonna be hard. I'm really behind, and he's got like eight cards in hand, and I got like three. If I can draw, if we can draw into our divine favors, that'd be very, very good. Because I've drawn into them almost every game. But probably when I need it, I probably won't get it, to be honest. Ooh, the Shredder. Shredder's got good value. That's a good value card. Um, I kind of like need to draw cards. Like having him draw cards isn't very good, but I, I kind of... Oh, there we go. See, that's good. Like maybe next turn I can like start trying to dump stuff, and that might be good. This just has really good value when it dies. That's also pretty good. At the very least, I'm just taking like little minimal damage, but it's gonna start racking up, and that's a problem. I think I need to drop this in Blessing. What is, is that? Okay, yeah, 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 that's the Haunter Crew, that's right. Hmm. Or at least I at least need him to like waste something on this. Like I kind of had to use my blessing like to make it look fat, but I need him to kind of like feel like oh uh, he's got stuff. Okay, see like that that maybe now he'll like trade into like trade into my stuff or something. Nah. Oh wow, he just freezes my minion. Uh, this is kind of bad. He's got, like, all the momentum, and I have, like, nothing. And I need Consecrate. And I'm pretty sure I'm dead next turn. That's 7, 10, 11. Yeah, he needs, like, one more damage to kill me. And I literally have nothing to stop it. <laughs> uh, feels bad, man. I wonder. Yeah, I would have needed Consecrate. Like, it's just that simple. Um, yeah. He, like, had too much of a fast start. And he just kept, like... That, that Shockwave thing was big. Um, yeah, there's nothing I can really do. I'll just... Whatever. Oh! He's... Um, I mean, sure. I'll probably drop these, but they're they're not they're not really doing anything. Like if he has anything oh wait. Oh yeah. Yeah, no, no, he's he's got he's got game. The victory is Well that's disappointing. How did I know he was gonna get that? Never say it. Never say it, because when you say it, that's when it happens. If you never got that, like, the 1-1 one, one totem, the momentum of the game could have been drastically different. Like, maybe, uh, I don't know, uh, maybe I should have traded into it. I don't really know. Eh, it's whatever. Uh, four games. 
I think that's pretty good. Yeah, they weren't all the best, but uh, that's all for now. So, it's been your boy, and I'm peacing out.